الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب في الله purity is from the characteristics or one of the branches of iman that's a part of the iman it's a part of faith that we purify ourselves in our body in our places of prayer in our clothing and in preparation spiritually for the prayer an abi malik hadith ibn asim al ash'ari رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الطهور شتر الإيمان والحمد لله تملأ الميزان وسبحان الله والحمد لله تملأ تملأ آن أو تملأ ما بين السماوات والأرض والصلاة نور وصدقته البرهان وصبر الضياء والقرآن حجة لك أو عليك كل الناس يغضو فبائع نفسه فموبكها أو فمتقدها فمتق فمتقها أو موبكها رواه مسلم إن الحديث في صحيح مسلم the hadith of Abi Malik Harith ibn Asim al-Ashari radiallahu ta'ala an who reported who narrated that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said purification is a branch of iman walhamdulillah and praising Allah fills the scale and subhanallah walhamdulillah both feel fill or fill what is between the heavens and the earth and prayer is nur and sadaqa is a proof and patience is light and the Quran is a proof either for you or against you everyone begins their day and sells himself and they either free themselves or they enslave themselves or commit that which is evil and this is collected in Muslim Ahabatifillah in this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam we find that Tuhur is from the branches of Iman, that purification is from the branches of Iman, and that Sadaqa is by giving charity. That this is a a type of <coughs> a type of light. Sadaka is a type of light, and sadaka and zakat are also a purification. They're a purification of yourself, purification of your wealth, a purification by having you rid yourself or of some of the things that you love. This, in, in, in essence, is how you purify yourself. It's how you purify your wealth and purify your soul by not becoming so attached to worldly gains. A, a sadaqa burhan, or charity, it's a proof for you or against you because that if you are giving 
in charity that this is a form of Iman and it's a proof for you that you it's a sign of Iman it's a sign of the belief of the believer that they're willing to part with that which they love which is wealth for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to better the condition of someone else and patience also an important trait of the mu'min Ahli Iman being patient on the tests that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you being patient in your trials and tribulations being patient by doing the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by being patient by avoiding the prohibitions of Allah wa ta'ala all of that is from sabr all of that is a part of patience and the Quran if you're reading and reciting it practicing and preaching it then it's a hujja luck then it is a proof for you but if you're not practicing the Quran and you're not preaching the Quran and you're not reading and reciting the Quran then it can be a hujja against you a proof against you May Allah bless us to come closer to Him by reading or reciting the Quran often and practicing. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And everyone, when they begin their day, they either free themselves, meaning freeing themselves more from the hellfire and embracing that trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the Urwa to Wuthqa, the strong, trustworthy handhold. Or you can begin your day in sin and without remembering Allah, without praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then, in fact, you've enslaved yourself to the dunya and you've brought yourself closer to the hellfire. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.